Okay. So what's next up, Nisi? Maybe see what happens with another psychic. Nisi looks hopefully at Kay. Kay looks intensely at Rod. Rod looks vaguely at his left palm. Interior of Rod and Kay's living room. Night. Rod, Kay, Nisi, and... Pasqual! A large... Innocuous... Guy in his 20s sit around the coffee table who has just been cleared. Pasqual laughs uproariously while Nisi giggles. Kay smiles and Rod arranges his face in the approximation of a grin. Nice, you completely joking at last! squeals joyously at the attention as she slaps Pasquale on the arm. Shut up! He calms down a bit. Nisi, Rod, and Kay become still as Pascal rotates his head to stretch his muscles. Okay! He also relaxes his body and closes his, his eyes. Quite a while passes. Finally, Pascal opens his eyes. Man, I'm a big dead here, guys! Sorry about that! Nisi looks heartbroken. But man, we can try again in a little while! Interior, Wild Earth Coffee House, day. Sebastian, another co worker of Nisi's, is putting silverware away. The place is empty otherwise. Nisi approaches him with less enthusiasm than usual. Hey, Sebastian! Sebastian grimaces, but quickly smiles at Nisi and waves. Hey, Nisi, listen, I'm just gonna go for a quick smoke break. He hurriedly leaves her alone in his silver with his the silverware, which she continues to put away even more miserably. Interior Nisi's apartment, living room, night. Nisi sits on her fold-out bed, which is covered with a comforter that has a huge image of the Eiffel Tower on it. She holds her African violet in her hands. It's dead. She throws it into a nearby trash basket and stares at its remains. Underneath it are crumpled up printouts of paranormal internet sites. One of them has an ancient photograph of a Victorian house. Lost in thought, she suddenly focuses on the papers and rises slowly out of her slow slouch. External North Carolina Civil War battle site, dusk. Nisi gets out of Rod's expedition, gets out of Rod's expedition and walks over to his door. He quietly looks at the open parkland before him, but doesn't make a move to get out. Nisi opens his door and looks at him. <laughs> she reaches into the SUV and locks his seat belt, unlocks his seatbelt, which slowly retracts. Rod um, still shows no, no sign, sign of moving. moving. <laughs> no sign of moving. He doesn't want to get no out. No sign of moving. No sign of moving. None. So... If you think nothing's going to happen, then what's the big deal? He shakes his head. This way, you can prove to Kay that nothing's going on with you. Nisi looks out over the peaceful field. After this, 
I'll leave you guys alone. I promise. Rod continues to consider the view out of the window windshield. Otherwise, I'll keep on bugging. The living she Rod gets out of the car. Exterior North Carolina Civil War battle site later. Nisi and Rod have set up a fold-out chair next to the park service battle marker. A video recorder on a tripod is pointed at the seated Rod. The built-in light of the video recorder throws his face into a relief. He stares miserably out into the darkness. Nisi plays with the audio recorder next to him. Cheer! Droopy draws! The world isn't ending yet! <laughs> she shivers and rubs her arms. <laughs> this isn't too creepy, is it? Anyway, I started to think what if it's. what if it was the place, you know? Because it sounded like a girl going to a prom or something. Talking about corsages and that how he was going and everything. She looks over at Rod. He doesn't seem terribly interested. So I went online, and before the convention center was built there, there was a high school on the site. So maybe there's something about you. That kind of brings the spirits of a place to the surface, you know? She slaps his arm and he laconically brings his appendages out of harm's way. Don't you see how big this could be? You'll be famous! Because this place is probably dripping with entities, if any place is. She squeals. He looks away. Okay, so let me rewind the tape to see if there are any EVPs. She resigned, rewinds the audio recorder and hits play. I'm recording. Tonville Battlefield, where we may be arrested at any time, so if you hear gunshots, you know what's going on. <laughs>